Hi, Mark Nelson here with Rio Grande, and real quick, I'm going to show you how to mix up boric acid powder. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to take some denatured alcohol or methyl alcohol. Both work really well, but a lot of times we just use the denatured alcohol because it's really easy to find. We get to pick it up at the hardware store in the paint section, and it works really well. So we'll take a little bit of that and pour about an inch into an airtight container. I do like using the mason jars because they're a glass container and the lids um, really seal up airtight. Uh, what can happen over time is that the alcohol will evaporate, so you want to make sure you get a good seal on that. Other jars that work really well are olive jars, jelly jars, something that's small, suitable to your work size, but that is airtight, and that's the most important thing. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the boric acid powder. What we want to do is get about a 50-50 mix. That works really well. We'll just sprinkle some in there. And you can see it almost instantly separates out. That'll work just fine. So it's all mixed up. Now in order to use it, we can do it a couple of different ways. We can take our item that we're going to solder and dip and swirl. You always want to swirl it, get the boric acid in suspension so you get a nice thin coating on the whole thing. And then go ahead and mount it up. Now in some cases, that might not be possible. You might have a really small or delicate piece. You can definitely take a flex brush there again, always swirl it, get it in suspension, and you can paint it on wherever you need it to, to go. And when you're done, you can do this uh, if you want to, or you can light it on fire, and that'll burn off the alcohol, and what it's going to do is leave a nice light skin of boric acid powder that's really going to help you keep from getting fire scale. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can contact us at RioGrande.com.